Hey everybody, I'm Bob Baker with Jazz Guitar Today, and we're here with John Schofield, who's in California right now. Yep. Out, out uh, there, out there messing around. Hey, the reason we're here today is to talk about this documentary that you are uh releasing or being released on December the 2nd. And I spent this morning um about 5 30 this morning. It's an hour and a half, approximately. I watched the whole thing, John. Oh, my God. Are you okay? <laughs> I couldn't stop watching it. I, I well, literally, well, that's I, good, I guess, yeah. I, no, I couldn't stop watching it. it I, you know, normally when somebody says something like that, you go, oh, okay, I, man, what an endeavor. Uh, you know, your career is, it speaks for itself. And, um, you know, you're playing and, you know, all those things. But I got to tell you, man, um, it it's it was it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful project, and um, you should be very, very proud of it. Uh, well, just... thanks. You know, I mean, I can't quite be proud of it because I didn't do it. You know, it was Jörg Steinek, the uh, the the filmmaker, and I just sort of hung out with him. You know, I didn't have any creative input. Um, because I, you know, I wanted him to just do his thing, and and uh, he did. It it was incredible. Well, here, here's the 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 fact that that someone with that t talent and skill, because the guy the guy really did a, an amazing job. I mean, the all the camera angles and all of that um, that says, you know, we really got to document, you know, John's life, if you will. Um, I mean, I just think the whole thing is, is amazing. And oh, the, thank you. <laughs> the, the generosity that you offered to all of us, man, they really pulled the curtains back. Um, you know, really. Pulled yeah. the, really. I, I, you know, he he came out on tour with us and then he came to my house and uh, that was pretty much it. You know, he did it all with his handheld camera and, and Jorg has made uh, other music movies before. Yeah. and continues to do it more in the rock and roll idiom. He wanted to do this music, uh, this uh, film, actually for his dad, who's a jazz fan. <laughs> Project 66, uh, I'm, I think, what, is that, am I saying that right? Or is it? Co combo, combo, combo 66. 66 I, I apologize, band, yeah. Combo 66. Man, what a, what a band. Wow. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, yeah, and, Ger Gerald Clayton and all, yeah. I I was like, uh, and is he does he pronounce it Vicente? Vicente, 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 Vicente Archer. Vicente wow. Archer. That just, yeah, wonderful basis and 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 of course Bill, you know, is amazing and and Bill uh, Stewart, the giant. And, you know. Yeah, and Gerald. I mean, they all just. I mean, they just laid it down just so beautifully i mean i, I just love it and then um, well those are you know I'm, I'm lucky to play with great musicians and it says something for the world <laughs> that i can get these absolute uh, giant jazz musicians to play with me um well, yeah. and i'm very lucky and and uh, I, well they're lucky to play with you too but and the, the whole road dog thing you know where you're uh yeah i know i said that once and he kept using it over and over again and now <laughs> and i i went road dog i, I well <laughs> I, yeah but you know i mean i've been lucky that i've been able to tour as much as i can and uh it's you know it's not the easiest life it's been tr really hard on my family actually yeah. my wife and my kids but uh susan has put up with it uh all these years and uh uh, yeah, I'm I'm a road uh, person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that a little bit better. But I mean, you know, to get the the movie um, again, which will be out in, in the December second, called Inside Schofield, um, shows a lot of that life. Um, it shows a yeah, lot. Yeah, that's of what he did. Was he yeah. he came out on the gigs? Yeah, and uh, showed us out there. Yeah. And I got to tell you, man, you're playing great. You are really. Well, that's good. That's good because I don't know, you know, I mean, he just, uh, he came with his camera and would film like, you know, two minutes of this tune, three minutes of another. 
who knows what he filmed uh, playing wise. It was it's not a performance video, you know, no, the documentary. So so hopefully the little snippets that he got of uh, of us playing were some good stuff. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what it, what it, what I noticed right away is it reveals all kinds of techniques that you're using. I mean, you know, you go from uh -huh. playing hard bop, bebop to Hendrixian type stuff. And it's like, it's like some Elmore James kind of things going on and some slide stuff. I mean, <laughs> you know, there's some slide stuff going on and some blues licks. And then there's some out and out rock stuff. There's some, you know, there's some straight ahead jazz tones. And then, then you hear the, you know, the, that sixties crunch thing going on and, and and you're putting it all together in this beautiful bath of of great players, you know, great tunes and the improvisation. I mean, if 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 you want to if you want to find somebody to just say that's that's what jazz is in, in this time period right now, 2022. Man, it's John Schofield. I'm gonna tell you, man. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Bob. Yeah, you got it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. How did it feel to have somebody like follow you around for, I don't know, was it a two or three kind weeks? Kind of weird. Yeah, it was kind of weird because, uh, you know, when you see that camera there, you're like, what? You know, yeah. and uh, he's very good at what he does. And, oh, yeah. And stays out of the way, you know. But, you know, it was sort of like, oh, here's Jurg again. The other yeah. guys in the band were sort of like, what is this guy doing, John? He's making a movie about you. You know, what's with that? And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, it was, uh, he was very good at it. And some of the stuff was in Europe. You know, we saw yeah. him there too. Some of those scenes are from Europe. We saw him in Seattle, in LA, yeah. in New York, uh, with Dave Holland, you know, and, and, uh, wow. Yeah. He was all over the place. Man, well, it's, it's, it's fabulous. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you hung in there oh, with it. No, you know, I, I love that. I, I haven't watched the whole thing. You'll have to tell me what it's about later, you know. Well, it's about this guy and a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that's watching this 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 interview, this video, man, you really got to check this thing out. It'll be out December the 2nd, so it's yeah, very cool. Yeah, and it, it, it's called Inside Schofield, but it's not a... Uh, a film of my last uh, proctology visit or anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, it, it, it does get up close and personal, but not quite that much. <laughs> no, it, it sounds like it could, though. Wow, I tell you. <laughs> That's pretty good. So tell us what's going on. You're out on the West Coast uh, on a leg of a tour. What yeah, playing with Larry. Playing Just out here for a week, playing some solo gigs in Northern California and uh, playing with Joe Lovano. He has a residency at SF Jazz and I'm playing one night with him and uh, which is a nice reunion. And then yeah. I go back home for th Thanksgiving and uh, I'm pretty much home for for uh, December except for Warren Haynes's Christmas Jam in Asheville, North Carolina that he invited me to. And uh, that's December 12th. And uh, and then I go back out uh, in uh, in February. I have a, a, a tour with my band in Europe, for, as usual, for three weeks. Yeah. And I keep I'm keep playing. I haven't been playing with much as with Gerald right now. Gerald Clayton, who's in the movie. We wow. are going to do a duo concert though in in uh, Berlin. And uh, and I've been playing more with Bill and Vicente Trio. So. What was interesting about uh, about Gerald is, um, I mean, he plays really, really nice B three, but then he gets on the you know the acoustic piano and does that's his baby. You know, he's an acoustic piano player. That's what yeah, he that, that's one really of the best. Cool. And guitar, you know, it's hard to find somebody who can work with a guitar player. Some guy, you know, piano can, especially on a a recording, uh, the the similarities uh, in. Uh, uh, sonority uh, between a piano and a guitar they can kind of cancel each other out yeah. and uh and Ger gerald has just got such great ears that never i love playing with him and, and uh he, he he knows how to really work with a band you know there's a uh a, there's a guy that wrote a couple of articles for us called what piano players wish guitar players knew <laughs> ah. and uh and it, it it kind of talks about that how the 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 piano overlaps the band pass of the, of the of the guitar and if you're not 
careful with your voicing, especially close voicings. You know, you can totally obliterate the guitar. You know, yeah, it just it just becomes a big mess. Yeah, yeah, it it does. It's so, well, listen, I won't keep you. I know you got stuff to do. Um, is there anything in particular? Uh, you're out on you're out on tour. You're gonna be back. You know, you, you've been to Asheville, I'm sure, several times. Yeah, so uh, it's great to be down there. I. You know, the only thing is I've got a new trio record coming out, but it won't be out until next year in the fall. And that's with Vicente and Bill. And uh, um, I'm touring with my band Yankee Go Home. Uh, we're doing some stuff uh, in, in Europe and around. And, uh, you know, it looks like another good year. Uh, right. Thank goodness. You know, you know what, I, what I really, really like? Uh, I, was, I wanted to mention this before I go, is that when – when Gerald's playing on the B3, I, I mean, I like the bass and a, a bass player and a B3. I mean, right. I know, yeah, me too. I know that everybody wants the, you know, the trio and left-handed bass and all that, but as good as some of these guys are with that left-handed bass, man, they're not a bass player. You um, know, I mean, the, it, I did this with Larry Goldings too, when we had a band, with bass and drum, we had Dennis Irwin on bass and Bill on drums, and uh, it gives a you know you can have piano and organ. Yeah, I like to uh, to mix it up when we can. Yeah, I mean it's great great to play with a great organ player, but yeah, the bass instrument is nothing like it. I you know I love it. Well, listen, John, man, thank you for joining us today and telling us about the project. So the project is called Inside Schofield. It features Combo sixty six with uh, Bill Stewart. Um, who I love, uh, Gerald Clayton, who I've been introduced to, and uh, Vicente. Am Vicente I got that right? Archer. Vicente, Vicente Archer, which, which I'm, I rapidly became a fan of. I mean, I love what he's doing. You and he are having great conversations when you're playing. Man, there's yeah. so many, there's so many things, there's so many lessons about how to be a musician that you teach. Uh, you know, just because of the the things that you say in there that you teach in that in that that movie, I mean, just some of the the things that you say and the, the you know about how you you know emote and I mean, just everything. I just I, watch the movie, everybody. Watch the movie. It's yeah. really, 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 really good. It's got two thumbs up from me. I think it's great. John, that's it for me, pal. Unless you got something Thanks, else. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, buddy. Bye, bye now. Bye, bye. Thank you.